Hello everybody, and welcome! Today we are playing a new game, uh, The Plucky Squire. Let's take a look what this is all about. Uh, it was time to begin an adventure. Options. Graphics. Okay, we don't have to miss that. Audio. Seems good. Let's drop the music down to 8. 70. <laughs> okay, controls. Looks good. Gameplay. Cool. Accessibility. Jump assist. I think we're okay. Alright, let's go. Check if the stream is running. Title and category good. Hello, hello, hello. Title and category good. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, that seems good. Welcome, everybody. Adventure modes. If you're feeling plucky and you want a challenge, this mode is for you. Story mode. A breezy way to play. Relax and enjoy the story of the plucky squire. Let's do that. It's past, it's almost midnight. Let's have a relaxing game. I saw the trailer for this, this looks great. Like, fourth wall breaking graphics. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Cool. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. Chroma? He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrum. Humgrum. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Cracking. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Cool. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1. Some Serious Beeswax. Well, that's not the music I was expecting. Let's look at our controls. Oh, we got a dash. Or oh, is it a dodge or a dash? Probably a dodge. Oh, look at that. Okay. Really booming. Cool. See, I knew there was going to be something hidden in the trees. So light, uh, light bulbs. This was a house of the good wizard Moonbeard. Jod's close friend and mentor. Cool. Ah, Jot, my lad! He exclaimed. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since nice. you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. 
wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. I don't think they're made of wax. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you. I mean, the original ones, maybe. Alright, a mini quest. Woo-ha! You take care of the goblins and I'll haul the wax back here for you. Alright, dude. Oh yeah, there'll be goblins. No sweat for you though, right, Jot? The entrance to the woods beckoned. Jot, that's not the way to Honey Peak. <laughs> no? What's that? Oh, circle? That's our dodge. The Tomb Tower. Okay, so we're going this way. Graphics are really nice. Wait, is there anything behind the wall? Sometimes you have to game the game. Doot, doot, doot. I like the story, storybook format. Interesting. Jump. Plucky Squire leapt nimbly onwards. Where's the mouse? <gasps> now this looks really quite precarious. Haha. <laughs> Jot took a deep breath. Let's see what happens when we fail. And off he left. Okay, so if it has cracks on it, you, it'll crumble. Oh, I just realized we're side-scrolling it. Fudge. Honey Peak. The view is incredible. Huh. Now that right there is a massive owl. 
That's Tomb Tower, that is. Tome. Tome Tower. That's the honey badger. <laughs> Whoa! That's the honey badger. Eating Benny Bee's honey. Be on your toes, Jot. A hungry honey badger can be really cranky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's drink something. Excuse me. Oh, heck. Here we go. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepared <laughs> for a dust up. Dang. Funny. on easy mode though. The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. The presentation for this is great. Ah, back in wait, back in the hive. Feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jot. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Uh, Moonbeard sent us, Benny. He could really do with some of that beeswax, if you have some to spare. Oh, for sure, Pip. My man, I, I owe you guys. Here, here you go. Compliments of the uh, compliments to the Wiz. Huh? What's what's with all this ominous darkness? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's not good. Down they fell. Oof. Ouch. That's the end of the story. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Ah, uh, yep. It's a hum uh, humgrump, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery, that one. There's something rather odd about the magic he used. And this is not usually how the story goes, you know. That is to say, uh... Huh. Forget about that. Harumph. This is a job for the plucky squire, Ja. Humgrump is at Tome Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any more bother. Hello? Oh man, do I have to read this? It go. was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Oh. 
Hey, John. You've got another humgrump situation, huh? Moonbeard gave me the skinny. Oh, that weaselly wizard is at Tome Tower, you kids. Uh, head over there. And Jot, put a stop to Humgrump's malarkey. I'll look into that strange green magic. And have a donut. But that's by the by. Later. Ah, goodbye. And good luck. Although, you never really need it, Jot. No lie, I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the plucky squire in action. Kapow! Lead the way, Jot. Oh. Uh. That's a lot of stuff we could have missed. To Tome Tower. Wait, what's stopping us from going this way? Jot felt an urgent need to get going to Tome Tower. Can't go this way either. Yeah. So the plucky squire set off to Tome Tower. Can we fight. Hold on. All right, mouse. These things that look like I don't know what they are, like grapes or something. <laughs> oh, look at this trophy. You got a new piece of artwork. Press square to show in gallery. Ah. Concept. Area mountains. Who's this person? some bushes. The something swung something. What the? Ha ha ha, cool. Hold on. Just checking. Nice. You always have a way with words, John. <laughs> Greetings, brave warriors. My name's Marie Martina. Nice to meet you. You adventurers cut down fearsome enemies and I slash prices. Let me show you what I have for sale. Throw your sword to attack and retrieve goodies from distance. Yes. Okay. Now press R2 to throw a sword. And again to retrieve it. Cool. Okay. If 
try this for 10. Oh, good new piece of artwork. It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check in again. Next time we meet, I'll have new stock. You keep saving the land from bad business, and my business will save you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. Oh, let's try that, uh... are kind of tough. What's this dude? Glitch bird. You found a lost glitch bird. It will return to its homeland. Nice. Okay, we don't need that. Tom Tower. Well, there it is. That mysterious ancient owl. All the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know. Whoa. Not sure the ground should be doing this. Chapter 2, Tome Tower. <laughs> A really great presentation. Our heroes hug on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails, when suddenly, they were grabbed and hoisted up. By who? By Thrash. Thrash. This Thrash was a mountain me of, uh, Adventure Time. And George and Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. Ah, Thrash. Oh boy. You really saved our skins. Are we happy to see you? Triple trouble together again. Mojan! Mojan? <laughs> oh man. I didn't think I would need to do so many voices. Alright. Ah! I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to Tome Tower. I figured I'd help you on your way. The path is wrecked, huh? Well, there's more than one route to the Tome Tower. Let's get down to the ground. Stick it to stuff like this rock. Interesting. I wonder what that's the reason for that. Oh, 
Oh, this really is quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this. Oh. Huh. So it keeps changing perspectives. Cool, you can still use the throw here. Dude. You both got down that cliffside with banging style. You had a good rhythm going on there, dudes. I you think. You know, I did feel rather graceful. Sort of like a hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're down on the ground. Best get on to Tom Tower. Lead the way, Plucky Squire. Oh. Hmm. Look at those bouncing boulders. They're just vanishing into thin air. Oh, majorly weird. of us is wearing red. Phew. Uh, Jot's wearing red. Oh. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than scarlet. Ugh. I don't think bulls are that picky. Oh, sorry. Hold on. There we go. Gotta find all the secrets. Oh, fuck. Jeez. Can we fight him? Dark. 
that, nobody knows. Uh, hold up. Is that Moonbeard? He looks much more petite than usual. Oh, that's not Moonbeard, Dash. That's a mini beard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually you'll find him at Moonbeard's house, helping him out. Today it looks like he's out and about. Hey, mini beard, what's cooking? Oh, yo! You'll need a key if you want to be journeying onward. If you walk to the right here, you just might find one. Be advice from old mini beard. <laughs> Thanks, mini beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and mini beard is around, always pays to ask him. He's full of answers. This game is great. It's really casual, and like the presentation is amazing. Oh, it's blocked. Like, it's very Zelda, but like a combination of other things, too. Ah! Oh man, I forgot the voice I did. Oh, you got the key. I knew you'd do it. Ah. Thanks, Mini Beard Dude. Secluded forest. Ah, greetings. Travelers 3. My name is Topsy. Ah, hey Topsy. I see you are on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you. But, there is something you could perhaps assist me with first. Namely, my tummy. It is empty. I left my biscuits around here, somewhere, you see. And the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat, which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. Huh, a cat shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be the key to all these landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. Okay. 
Well, that's what I'm good at. Okay, we know it's the forest, but where do we put it? Ruin? Forest? But when I pick this up, I can't, uh... a secluded ruin. Ah, uh -huh, I gotcha. Let's grab all of this first. Oh, this forest be dense. Difficult to push things through it. But the path might be easier going all around. If the forest wasn't the forest. You'd thought. Oh, okay, I forgot. We have to do the thing first. This is pretty fun. I enjoy this. Huh. I got it. We put it here. This is kind of a cool puzzle. Oh, my biscuits. How have I dreamed of this moment, travelers? You have my sincerest thanks. The prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face. <laughs> oh, he was upside down the whole time. <sighs> this land is full of puzzles and treachery. Uh, trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit saviors. Yeah, I think I... I forgot what voice I, I did. I'm basically just making them all hipsters. Take a look at my current selection. Spin attack badge. Oh, we can't afford. Sword damage upgrade. Hmm. 
jump attack badge. Okay, let's come back. Pretty sure we could get. Tongue Tower. Well, if it isn't the brave warriors with a sharp eye for good deals. I've got some new stuff in. Take a look. Okay, we can get this spin attack. Hold and release L2 to do a spin attack. Okay, got it. Ah, cool. I should have done this for the first one. How do? Time to try out the spin attack job. Oh, good going. If you want to keep training, check out the board. Otherwise, leave via the exit at the bottom of the page. What is this? Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon, loomed Tome Tower. Well, it got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magic afoot, and everything feels kind of busy. There was a strange electricity in there. Oh man, that bug. What's that? Yeah. Cool. Oh, so they... They kind of have a shine to it. Cool. Taj, hello, what is Plucky Square? It's a really cool storybook kind of game. Like, it's kind of like if you know Nintendo Legend of Zelda, but like way more, the presentation is great. Like, it's interesting. <laughs> But yeah, new uh, free game on the PlayStation Plus. And Taj, a big peacekeeper, salute you. Oh, so some some goings on, Taj. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Yeah, another another part of PlayStation Plus. Uh, like there's new games every month. Like at the beginning of the month and at the mid part of the month. Oh, okay, so my dad is going to be on vacation for three weeks. 
So he's going to be here at the house spending time with me. He's upstairs sleeping. So, uh, like, streams will be sporadic, and probably I can't make a lot of noise. So I can't be my, can't be my extra boisterous, you know, self. I gotta tone it down a little. Let's see. Meta does that once a month for two free games. Yeah, you should try them out. Because you, you gotta, I mean, you know, you gotta use that that uh, 3D technology, I mean, VR technology. Explains why I'm talking quietly. Yeah, he's sleeping. He is gonna be like away some days. Like he said, he's gonna go golfing on Thursday. So he's gonna go back to the other house on Wednesday. He'll be there Wednesday, Thursday, but then be back here like Friday afternoon. So those times I could stream normally. Yeah. But, you know, he'll be here more often than not. So <laughs> I'll try to stream when I can. But, you know, if it's night and my dad's sleeping, then I can't be, like, really super loud. <laughs> yeah. And how have you been doing, Taj? I hope you've been doing well. But I really like this, the presentation of this game. The story is pretty cool. No worries? You get your time with that? Yeah, today we went out shopping. My dad brought me to a store. It's called Ollie's. It's kind of like a discount odd lot clearance type store. And so I picked up a whole bunch of nerdy stuff. I got a whole bunch of Batman comics and like uh, action figures. It's kind of like a Ross, but for like more random stuff. Your mom had a conference in Vancouver? So, ooh, interesting. Never been there before? Vancouver? No. Wait, wait. Where have I been? I've been to Canada. Is I is it Toronto, the city near Niagara Falls? I've been to Niagara Falls and then whatever major city is near Niagara Falls. And then a place called Mississauga? Something like that. Buffalo and Toronto? Yes, I've been there. Cuz we went my family went to go see Niagara Falls. How do I get this thing? Oh. Huh? Oh, I broke that. It's all shiny. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> birdie. It's beautiful. Did you guys do the Maid of the Mist? I didn't. Wait, did we? No, I didn't do... You know what? I think when I was little, we went there and we did it. I think I think when I was little, but the last time we went, uh, we didn't. Cause so I don't remember putting on the raincoats and stuff or going on a boat. Wait, it was, okay. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, we're behind this thing. Yeah. What's over in Vancouver? Is that on the west side of, of Canada? Because isn't Vancouver the, the Hollywood of, of Canada? Whoa. See, this game is very Nintendo, but you'll see what I mean when the presentation of it is really cool. It's like this... Oh, no. Ah, it's above Seattle, yeah. I know they film a lot of TV shows there. Oh, look at this thing. You know what? TG would like this game. Like, it's, it's not very hard. 
and it's very animated. By the way, have you heard from TG? Like, he hasn't been around in a long time now. He did this thing called Fly Over Canada. You have to see the YouTube clip. Oh, cool. Yeah, send me the uh, link. You know what? So, since I'll be away, uh, and I've been kind of getting super disconnected with the squad lately, uh, just send it to me anywhere, like on Twitch, or Discord, or uh, Twitter, or Instagram, and I'll pick it up. Or in the whispers here on, uh, on Twitch. You talked to him today, how's he doing? Is there a reason why he's been away, like, sporadically so often? Ah, oh, you got it on the whispers? Let me see. How do I get to the whispers? I have to click home? And then here? Okay, and then here? Oh, okay, there you go. Da, 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 YouTube. Let's look at that. Awaken Canada. Flyover. Um, Do you know the U.S. Solar Lodge. Company? Lodge. Lodge. Okay, let's wait. Okay, let's hit like on this. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, my gosh. How is... Tosh, how is this done? Is it on a... Is it on a, a helicopter? I'd imagine that's a helicopter and not a plane. Hold on, let me open this in the app so then I can save it. Because in the browser, it's not logged in. There we go. Now I can like it. Don't skip. Hold on, I'm getting back to... Oh, it was this... That is wild looking. But these look like drone shots. Oh no, what... Oh, it's a roller coaster? It's a roller coaster, Taj? It's a platform that slides out of the bay? And... Oh, I think I've... I've been to like an IMAX ride kind of like that was it's kind of like an IMAX screen I think I've been to one of these at one of those fancy uh, casinos um, no it's not an IMAX screen oh wild so are you standing or sitting uh, it looks like you're sitting in a thing Like one of those s suspended roller coaster things. That you know what? That just activates the uh, fear of heights in me. <laughs> Can't look at that for too long. Oh man, that's funny. Hold on, where's? Oh man, I can't get back to the. How do I get back to the channel? There we go. Okay. Let's see. Taj says, It's smaller but wraps around you. Sitting in a seat, but your feet are touching nothing. Yeah, it's like the suspended coasters. You're afraid of heights, but you loved it. Yeah, the, the views are spectacular. 
Your mom said you're not allowed to pick adventures anymore. <laughs> so your mom was afraid of it too. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. That would... But how long was the ride? I'd imagine if it goes on for too long, it would freak people out. Yeah, that's kind of cool though. It the the visuals are really nice. I think they they probably used either a helicopter or like a drone or something, because it is zipping around. Yeah, must use a high end camera. Dun, dun. Sandy, I see you lurking there. And we're talking about Canada and Vancouver and Niagara Falls and Toronto. <laughs> How you doing, Sandy? A big peacekeeper salute you. I can't be too loud because my dad's upstairs sleeping. So, peace angels in the chat for you, Sandy. May the angels protect and guide you. Thirty minutes? That's way too long, Taj. But you're getting your money's worth out of that. Oh my God, is it an expensive ride? It must be. Hold on, I'm gonna take a quick break, but I'm gonna run right back. So quick break. I'm gonna be right back real quick. Okay, I am back. Let's see, Taj says... Oh, I read that out. Wait, no, no. It shifts and moves. At one point, it did a nosedive straight down into the ocean. They were swimming with the whales. How did they do that? I wonder how they got that shot. 
It must be a splice. They must have had, like, two different footage that they did together, but... Oh, man, that would freak me the heck out. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Pretty cool. How long were you in Vancouver? How far is that from you? Jeez. Oh, was it a fun conference? Sometimes business conferences are fun. Like I told you, I went to a dental conference once with my parents. And I just got to wander around and get, like, free toothbrushes. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then have free food at the luncheons and stuff. For whatever reason, I was a little kid and apparently I was a, I was allowed in for free to wander about. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what's going on here? Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to Tome Tower? Oh, Yep, that's where we're go where we're heading. Best beware. A dark wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lovely bridge. Unmitigatedly obliterated. Oh yeah, wrecked. Huh. Is there another way across the waters? I guess we got to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sanda, are you there? A cave entrance. Promising. Promising. Bookish lands are usually so peaceful. All this mayhem is not conducive to reading. I really like this storybook effect. Oh my gosh, Tosh left me all alone again. Let's see. Thrash. Oh man. Real gloomy. Dig the acoustics, though. Lead on, Jot, my dude. Your plucky glow will light the way. Oh, fudge. Jeez, what do we do here? Hmm. Fudge. Ah, okay. Jot explored the impassable cave. I 
feel like there's a way to get over there. down here, right? Here's the first one. I don't think believe we could get below this. Okay, I see... Yeah, how come I could go above this? But, like, not... Yeah, it's weird, right? How do I... super slow to respond. How you doing, Sandy? A big peacekeeper salute you, Sandy. I can't be too loud because my dad's sleeping upstairs. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Sandy, how do I get past this? Oh my gosh. Yeah. How you been? How are you liking, uh, did you get that new Call of Duty that you really wanted? You know, I saw there's a Call of Duty comic book. I'm wondering if it's any good. Okay, I can't get past that. Maybe if I just drop straight down. Jack explored the impassable cave. There's gotta be a way around. But we've gone this way. There's, there's a platform up there, and I'm pretty sure somehow we have to get over there like this, but it won't let me. Maybe I have to roll? Ah. See, look. It goes through. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay, let's look it up on YouTube. It'll be much easier. The Plucky Squire Impassable Cave. Mm. Com complete this page? How to complete the cave page. Wait a minute, did I did did I activate that thing we were supposed to activate? Yeah, we 
did. Is there another one? Look, there's like a whole cavern area over there. That's a treacherous Uh, so what's new, Sandy? Oh, we've been here. Okay, let me try to get to where we are. Okay, I see what he's doing. Act activated that. Okay. We've done that. Sorry, just looking on YouTube, how this person did this. Okay, now this is where we are now. Oh, no way. Okay, I got it. Let me just pause this. There's a hidden thing right here. Nothing much, just chill it. Cool. There it is. Dodge. <laughs> Losing health. Finally. Okay. Okay, let me close YouTube. Yeah. But it's good to hear from you, Sandy. It's been a long time. Doing any cool stuff in your town? Today I went shopping and I bought some uh, action figures. By the way, Sandy, you have to check out my YouTube channel and like all the videos <laughs> so that I can get more subscribers. Alright. Ah, would you look at that? We crossed the river. On we go. again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Oh, we only have 60. Mm, let's get sword damage upgrade. Good for all sword attacks. I guess we could get another arc scroll. Cool.
Da -da -da. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a lot of books. Oh, by the way, Taj, any any new uh, audio books you're into? Let's see. Whoa, there. All these books. Really eerie. Pretty cool visual, though. Books had been purposely stacked. Big blocks of books. Oh no, I know. <laughs> Sand is here. Pretty cool. Yeah. Sandy is from uh, Canada, by the way, Tosh. Oh no. But I don't know how far Sandy is from, uh, I think Sandy is Central Canada, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Oh, we have to pick up, ah, uh, okay, these books have been purposely stacked. We have to remove this, we have to pick up the word. We have to find another word we could put. Yeah, Sandy. It's it's like Saskatchewan, right? If I recall, it's it's in central Canada, maybe. Okay, we got a key. Oh, fudge. thing. There we go. Let's see, did you see the northern lights last week? I don't think we could see it from here, but Sandy probably could. There are apparently good visibility in upstate New York. That's a little far for me. And the city, I think, blocks out a lot of, uh, you know, the noise as light pollution. But out here in the suburbs, it's, it's usually okay. But I didn't notice any. But how about you out in the desert? Northern lights must be really cool. What color were they, by the way? Aren't they like usually a green or something? Really alien. Stuck books are a real roadblock. But if the books were scattered, you'd have a way through. Got it. Okay, we have to pick up the word scattered. Pages were scattered on the ground. These books have been purposely scattered. There we go. You're in Vancouver and they had low visibility. But we could see them from the 15th floor. Ah, yeah, it's a city, so it must have its own light pollution too. What are we trying to do? 
We opened the key. Okay, big blocks of books. Okay, let's pick this up again. And then pick this up. Okay, so what? Oh, 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 I got it. Stack. Hold on. Let's see, Taj says it was faint, but the sky had rings of green that were moving in waves along with purple and blue. Oh my gosh. That's so alien to me. But really cool. Ah, here's what we need. The puzzles in here are pretty fun. It's like putting these words in different sentences. Okay, scattered. Okay, these books have been purposely scattered. Wretched fool, Jot. He will get what he deserves. The time is near. Let's see, your mom couldn't believe that we could see it. She was super skeptical because of it being a city. Yeah, 14 floors up. I mean, that's kind of high. Yeah. Let's see, you stayed up until midnight and shut off all the lights in the room. Cool, oh my gosh, that must be, like I said, so alien and like space-like. Yeah, oh, 15th floor. Yeah, that's the... Oh, <sighs> that's a bit creepy. That dreaded plucky squire. What's funny was she noticed the first. Oh, cool. How long does it last? Does it last like all night or just like for a short moment? Oh no, I didn't want to go that way. Oh, it was all night and fainter the next night. Oh, so you really have to catch it at a certain time. The peak viewing was at certain times, yeah. But pretty cool. Pretty cool you were able to catch it at the right moment. Your dad was bummed he, he didn't see it, but it was 3 a.m. his time. Yeah. Is that back in Michigan? That's near Canada, right? You've always wanted to see them? Yeah. Was it snowy up there yet? It's not, right? It's still too early. Depends on what part. No, okay. So, uh, this is where it all kicks off. A historical location, and no mistake. Huh. Huh, well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was, so... Much oddness around these parts. The Canadian Rockies go through there, and it's right at the water. It's really pretty. Cool. Sandy, are you still there? Have you ever been to uh, Vancouver? Am I even pronouncing that correctly? I don't know. 
Anyway, here we are. Tome Tower. There seems to be a large Korean... Oh, really? Large Korean population. There were a ton of Korean restaurants. Nice. Did you have anything, like, really interesting? It's time for the Clucky Squire to go take care of that. Oh, by the way. Um, so I was shopping around um, Amazon. I don't know if you have the the BTS Funko Pops. But for whatever reason, the uh, Jin BTS Funko Pop is like $3 right now. <laughs> and you saw the three bucks? Oh my god, we saw this one thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's street food and KFC. Nice. Oh man. So you haven't been to Vancouver, Sandy? Have you seen the Northern Lights? Like uh, Taj is describing? Those weird uh, green wavy lights in the sky? Apparently you could see them at this time. You don't like fun pops? True, they're not the they're not the greatest, but I do have a, bu a bunch of them. Let's see. It's time for the plucky squire to go take care of that creep. Oh, we'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. They have no faces. It's it's generic. It's, it's purposely that way. <laughs> so they do have that, you know, really creepy look to them. Let's see, Violet. Uh, during your big showdown, you don't want us two dorks mooching around in the background. Ugh, no, we'll mooch down here instead, but we'll be cheering you on all the way. Oh, you saw the, the Northern Lights when you were younger, Sandy? Cool. They say they're made by, uh, what is it? The electromagnetic field? And, uh, like, solar, solar rays or something? Coming from the sun? But I'm pretty sure it's magic. It's magic, right? <laughs> It's magic, and the scientists are just not letting us know that that's magic. Neomagnetic. You think it's magic too? Cool, Taj. <laughs> we need a little magic and mystery in, in our lives. Go get that chump. Alright, time to fight. Jot made his way up the steep steps. Dun, dun. Oh, fudge. Humgrump. Ah. The plucky, plucky squire. I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to Tom Tower. You might be wondering what Humgrump is doing here. Well, I had a hunch, Grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. It was hidden away in a very secret chamber because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire. Have you tried Tim, Tim Horton's coffee? You know, uh, Sandy, they had a Tim Horton's in New York City for maybe about three years. And then they closed them. And then, like, you know, they didn't have them anymore. I liked it. I tried the, what is it? The maple glazed donut? It was super tasty. It was way tastier than a regular sugar donut. 
like a sugar glaze. Let's see. Yes, that's right. This book is all about you and me and all who live in this dratted land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that the land of Mojo is just a setting in a storybook. Hard to believe, I assure you, it's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within the book, if you will. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl adventuring through the land. Meeting up with the mountain troll. Making your way here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? And so, the Bluggy Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Huffgrum. You win, as you always do. You know, this book is one of a series. And in each one of those books, you win. Every single stinking time. Because you are the plucky squire, the hero of the story. The boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious. Even the little stories you write, beloved by all. Infuriating, like a, like a mosquito in my cardigan. Yes, that is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain, the talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least, that is how it has been up to, until now. But maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Humgrum could get a little glory for once. If the plucky squire were to be plucked from the book. If he were to be ejected. Oh, fudge. Oh, no way. Well. <laughs> well, that's something. How do I get back in the book? <laughs> that's kind of cool. Now we're 3D. Let's see, back to the chat. Let's see, Taj hasn't had the coffee. But you did have the donuts and breakfast sandwiches before. Cool. And there's one not far from your mom's house in Michigan. Cool. That's nice. Like I said, they had them in in Manhattan. But then they closed them. I don't know why. I liked them. I thought they were popular. Yeah. Ah, oh, the Funko Pops are no longer three bucks. Yeah, let me take a look. They were this afternoon. Da -da -da. Yeah, I think it was one of those limited time things. I know the prices aren't too bad. I wonder if the Black Pinks ones are on sale. <laughs> oh man. Funko Pop. Black Pink. Ugh, they got that complete set for like 41 bucks. Kinda want it. 
It has a nice display box too. Macy has these other ones, the individual ones. Oh man, how long is that deal running for? Only 4% claimed. Yeah, when they run the limited time deals, you can't have to get them until they sell out. Unfortunate. The BTS butter set with the display box is 72. That's expensive. But that's a lot of figures, too. Isn't that the set that they sold at Target? I remember seeing a set at Target one time. And then sometimes these things go up in price. They have a set right now for 50 for uh, butter. But why is it a seven pack? Maybe this is not official. Sometimes you have to check. Starship toys. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Are there seven members of BTS? I'm I'm very <laughs> I don't I don't know my BTS that well. There are seven members of BTS? I did not know that. You have the tiny tan ones? Those were the ones at Target, right? I remember seeing those. Man, I, I used to... I used to remember... the BTS names, because I remember Babanaki was teaching me all the names of the BTS members. Fudge, I'm trying to remember them now. It was like Jungkook. I, oh, I remembered it by uh, their role in the group. So there's three rappers, right? It's like RM, uh, uh, Suga, right? And uh, Fudge, I can't remember the other one. Uh, yeah, and then Jungkook is the, the Maknae, right? So that's three rappers, a Maknae, uh, I think Jimin is a dancer, right? And then I think Jin is the oldest one. So I'm missing two. Uh, V. That was the other unusual named one. But is the rapper I'm missing? He's he's the August D guy, right? Forgot his name. Oh, J Hope. Yeah. Cool. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. I just have to think of Jungkook is the Machne. And then the three rappers, RM, J-Hope, and Suga, right? Oh, Suga is August D? Okay. Uh... Oh, I saw that. Is, is Jin the one that had the new song? I heard it. It was really good. It was kind of ballad -y, right? It was pretty cool. August D is D-T... Sugar spelled backwards. Okay, so that's how I have to remember it. Okay. DT stands for Daegu Town, which is where he's from. Ah, okay. Yeah. I kind of remembered most of them. Yeah.
Hmm. Oh look, it's a watercolor set. Jin has a new song. I'll be there. It's very poppy, yeah. That's probably why I liked it. <laughs> yeah. His new album is out in a couple of weeks. Cool. Oh, is there someone out there? Okay. You keep singing it to yourself? I gotta listen to it again. I think TG uh, reacted to it, right? Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? Sure. Cool. Oh, by the way, yeah, how, how is TG doing? Let's see. Hey, do you remember me, Chot? We met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit, from book to book. But you, Jot, are a character from a book, and shouldn't really be out here. It's Humgrump's magic that blasted you out of the page, and onto this desk, isn't it? We'll have to get you back into your book, Jot. It is of utmost paramountcy. In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to the left and we'll try and find one. This? What are these, like grapes and carrots? That's most definitely a baby carrot. Hello there again. Do you see that magical swirly green thing? <clears throat> well, that's a meta magic portal, that is. It seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters cannot travel through these portals or pass between realms. But Jot, you've already made that leap once. Maybe you could do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. The, the TG is good? You should say hi? Yeah, you know... Uh, Discord is a thing I don't use that often. And one time it was really awkward. One time they were having a group uh, voice chat and uh, Shankis said hey what Shankis invited me to join in on the group voice chat and it just was really awkward <laughs> oh man I don't know they're kind of a uh, I don't know how to how to put it they're kind of a very uh, It was kind of like a bro dude vibe and like you know that kind of like sarcastic bro dude nudgingly insulting each other but in a friendly way vibe and I just couldn't get into it <laughs> oh man but they're cool well now now we're cartoon again. Remarkable. Some of that meta magic must have rubbed off on you, John. Like me, it seems you now have the power to leap between worlds. Yeah. You get that? But like you could still DM? I do sometimes when it's important. You're almost never on the server. Yeah, I've, I've posted sometimes on the server. And also, oh my god, I haven't been on there in forever. Every time a new person comes on, on the introduction thing, 
I always check and put a, you know, click whatever the like things are because if you look on the introductions uh, part of TG's server, I am the very first one to post on there. Did they get rid of the introduction thing? Oh no, it's just nobody, it's like inactive. Yeah, I've clicked like on all the, all the emojis. For every, for everybody that, that's new to the thing. But yeah, let me scroll up. I, I'm pretty sure I'm the very first person that posted on here. I have to scroll really far up. Well, besides MPAC, who uh, started that section, I am the very first person to post on there. Yeah. So, so it's my job to click on everybody's uh, emoji things at the bottom of their, their post. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Now this... But yeah, if you look, I'm on the server there. Same name, Wargame Peace. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Now, this world here is a sketch that was drawn by the occupant of this room. This is going to get meta, I believe. And the owner of your storybook, Jot, a young boy named Sam. He's a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over this desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. Bunford. Low energy. Too hungry to move. Too hungry to converse. Please, get me a snack. Ah. So we just had the poor Bunford over there. He looks famished. There's no nourishment to be found in this sketch. But maybe there's something out there. On the desk. You know, maybe you could bring items between worlds. It's worth a shot. Oh. There we go. Mm, give him a carrot. Bunford. Exceptional. You really can bring items between realms. This may be handy. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> so what you got planned, Taj, for this uh, November? Are you going to be doing anything special for Thanksgiving? How do I give this to him? <laughs> Delicious. Carrot boost. Energy levels restored. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. Okay. Oh. Huh. Well, that is something. <laughs> My goodness. How do I... Let's see. Your mom and you will likely cook something small, since it'll just be you this year. Other than that, not a lot. Will you be cooking anything for your holiday at home? It is coming up too? <laughs> yeah. Anything planned for that? 
let me think. I'll probably just make a frozen lasagna. Uh, that was like my favorite food during the holidays. Um, that's easy to make, but I'll probably see if I can make something else. I'll probably, uh, while my dad is here, I'll probably go to like Costco or something and see if there's uh, some things I could put in the fridge for me to make on, on Thanksgiving. Because I think my dad will be at the other house for Thanksgiving. I'm glad to see... <laughs> Not surprised you remember? I appreciate that. And I believe... I think your birthday is beginning of December somewhere? Or at least in the first half, right? da da da, -da. Yeah. Cool. I remember I uh, saying happy birthday one oh, last year, I believe. <laughs> I forgot the exact day, though. How do I get up there? I thought this was an Uno card. <laughs> Yeah. But thank you for remembering, Tosh. There we go. Can I hop on the items? I think I can. There we go. So that's why we have to get up this way. Yeah. I figured we... The arrow says go up. Wait, 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 wait. Grab still? There we go. Oh, now we can... There we go. Now we can... Cartoon out. Post it now. Oh, good going, young squire. I believe that the item that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen, on your way, you may run into creepy crawly coleoptera? Beetles! Sam likes to keep them as pets, you see. Be aware, Chot. Don't get eaten. It simply wouldn't do. I know. Oh my god, Tosh. Oh my god. So I was cleaning the house, right? And, okay, we have a fireplace behind the TV that I never look at. Cause like, it's just like a ledge full of like my mom's stuff, like, uh, like little dog statues and candles, little vases, like, I'm looking at it. There's like a little bird cage with candles inside it. Uh, lots of knickknacks. And I had not looked at that, you know, the fireplace shelf in like a few years. There's so many spider webs on it. <laughs> like, so many. I had to take a vacuum cleaner and try to suck up most of them. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to end up wiping down everything, but I sucked up most of it. Like, the vacuum cleaner wand that I used to suck up the, the cobwebs was so covered in webs after that. <laughs> it's the worst. The worst, Tosh. I didn't, s there was like dead bugs, but I didn't see any spiders, but you know they're there somewhere. Like, because there was, like, dead bugs that they were eating. And the webs. But, man, it's just all over the place. Oh. Okay. We're down here now. No, we're back. This is not what we want. Ooh, yeah. Okay. 
here. This is what we want. Oh, look at this. This is not a... This is like fancy Japanese stationery. Right? Oh, man, you used the emote. Potato used that, uh, one of the other emotes lately, too. I put that specifically because... Oh, man. Because <laughs> I fake curse so much. <laughs> Oh, fudge. Alright, hold circle or R2 to move without making a sound. Okay, move without making a sound. Oh! We need a. Oh! No! Okay. Okay, move without. We need him to turn around. Let's go. I guess climb this. No, we're good. We're good. Nah, you can't get me. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. What is this thing? We're gonna face this whatever this robot thing is. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need more than that. How does Lego here? Hmm. Oh. Dominoes. Do I not have my sword anymore? I don't. Okay, okay. <gasps> ah. Press or running to throw. set it off. Oh, I see, I see, I see. We have to put the dice on this pressure plate. There we go. Oh man, that's a lot of off. Oh, Careful. How do we sneak? Okay, like this. We have to jump. I like this game, it's like super creative. Fudge. So have you tried any any new games on your meta quest? Why why do I keep doing that? Ugh. Let's just do this fast. Okay, do this part slow and then go this way. Fudge! Just gotta slowly, slowly. I 
and then go down that eraser. Oh no no! Okay, it's it's less than we think we need to go. So like about here. There we go. Okay. Fudge. Fudge, fudge. This kid has a lot of art supplies. Ah, oh, Jot! You made it! My fears have been allayed. It seems that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you are here, there is something that you really must observe. Okay. These sketches of you quite remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room and is the owner of your storybook. As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this, Jot, to see how much you mean to him. But there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest to re-enter the book is near its pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond this sketchbook. Press on. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Okay, we know we need the dice for the domino. Okay, but there's bugs. Okay, we have to be in sneak mode the whole time. <laughs> Fudge. Is there a place to hide? Gotta be a place to hide. I see where it is. No, no. Oh, I keep forgetting to hold down the button. Okay, I'll get it right this time. Fuck. Oh, I'm rushing too much. 
You gotta observe his pattern. You have to do it when he uh, he flutters his beetle. No? Which way does he turn? No. I'm trying to observe any kind of pattern that he's doing. Yeah. Okay. I got it. So he alternates between turning left and right. So on this next one, he won't see us if we're here. Oh no. <laughs> he will see us. Okay. All right. Okay, we have to observe his turning. Fudge. Okay, it doesn't matter which way he turns. You just have to be quick. No? There's gotta be a way. I feel like I don't want to look it up on YouTube, but, or we could just rage quit and do it next time. <laughs> oh, man. If I could look ahead to see where we need to go. Oh, okay. You know, it has to just be timed. Just... One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, we got like four seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, got it. To observe this dude's pattern. How do we get past this guy? Why won't he go away? Fudge, oh, don't like this. Fudge. Go, 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 go. We're almost there. <laughs> I bet Tosh is not watching this. <laughs> what is the pattern here? I believe we have to just run. There we go. Hey, can we... We really don't have our sword. So I can't chop any of these bushes down. There we go. Nice.
Oh, glove. Just got the turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press L2R2. Go next to the book to open it. Oh, you got the gauntlets. Exceptional procurement. Head back to your book. Post haste. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jot. It is very important. Beware of Humgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, Jot. You know, us bookworms, we're able to glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and illustrator himself. He will create a series of very popular children's books with very lucrative, uh, oh, the controller battery is low. Let me just plug that in. With very lucrative merchandise tie-ins and brand integrations. <laughs> That's very meta. Alright, let me just plug in this. Okay. Sam's book will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he ever actually writes them. If Humgrump takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all of their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam. And then, who knows what path he will take. Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Humgrum. Alright, there's our book. Wait, 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 wait. It's there, right? Let's make sure we're going the right way. Here. Okay. Manipulate. back. Ah, oh, Jot, my lad. Welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter 3. Moonbeard. Okay, I think we're gonna call it here, but we'll see the beginning of this. I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Better put my best foot forward then. Greetings, lad. Ah, oh, hey, John. Glad you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer to the first question is, 
Yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is, yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas, huh? I have kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow, that greasy nincompoop humgum found out. Very, very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Well, let me drink something. <clears throat> oh, who knows what mischief he's planning. I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. Well, that just means, young squire, that we must be t double the trouble. Follow me. Boom, boom, boom. First order of business, getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? Meta magic, that is. It lets you break the fourth wall, which is another way of saying, jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the triangle button. What's a triangle button? Oh, not entirely sure, but you should press and hold it. There we go. Testing, testing. Mm. Jot, I'm talking to you via Rune Tooth headset. You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep hydrated. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Alright, I think I'm going to call it here. <laughs> oh, I like this game. It's pretty fun. I love the cartooniness of it. And then the switching between the 2D and the 3D. Pretty fun. Oh, man. Uh, any points of order before we convene? Well, it was cool chatting with you, uh, Taj and Sandy. It's been a while. Oh, man. So maybe... I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow. Oh, my God. Tomorrow's election day. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> it all depends on how my mood is at the end of the day. Oh, man. It's going to be... Hope for the best. Yeah. Oh, man. What a... Who knows what the future holds? Let's just hope for the best. Yeah. All right. I guess I better get going now. If you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm now at 186 subscribers. I'm a struggling YouTuber. I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of the year. So, yeah. Please help me out. And please check me out when I'm live on Twitch. And to all my peacekeepers out there, a big peacekeeper salute to you all. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. All right. Night, everybody. Let's put that in chat. Night, Taj. Night, Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the booty emotes again, Sandy. My goodness. <laughs> all right. Well, it was cool seeing you all. Peace, angels, in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. All right. I'll see you again next time. Later, everyone. Have a great night. Peace.